I passed the COSSB exam two years ago and in this video I'm going to be talking about what it's been like since I've passed the exam, all the benefits that have come to me professionally and financially and ultimately answering the question was it actually worth it? So yeah, if you're thinking about taking the CISP exam, then this video is for you. So the first point to go over is kind of contextualizing the CISSP exam in the current industry. In some ways it's overhyped and in some ways it can be undervalued. And it's important to try and understand the nuance of when and where it's useful. Fundamentally, it gives you a strong foundation across the cybersecurity spectrum. All the different domains, all the different fields, all the different roles and things within cybersecurity, it gives you that initial insight into that vertical. Just a broad understanding, but it doesn't necessarily make you a specialist in all areas. And that's kind of what links into the second benefit of it. Once you have the CISSP exam, your specialization becomes more strategic. Because of the CISSP being such a generalist certification, it gives you enough understanding of each area to kind of better understand where you want to specialize in the long term and where you don't want to specialize. So, you know, you touch on so many different things like operations, architecture, compliance, legal, engineering, blah, 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 blah. Once you've dove into and learned about that thing from the CISP or security perspective, and you understand it well enough to be able to pass the exam, that generally gives you enough insight to at least be able to talk around the topic, understand what it entails, what it looks like at a high level, and if you want to do that for the rest of your career, basically. So I think it's a very good exam if you're unsure of where to go with cybersecurity. The CISP exam is a very good generalist certification that will give you a very solid foundation to be able to make the next decision. And fundamentally, into the third point, the reason for this is because it does give you that mindset shift. You kind of go from being a technical expert or a siloed worker in one particular domain into more of a security leader and looking at it from like a management level where it's not just about very specific skills, giving you that ability to think like a manager. And although that's kind of what you learn through the CISP journey, for me personally, it kind of really taught me to play my position and understand where you are in the security program and this is why it's super valuable even if you're not the CISO or a director or a manager you understand what those roles above you can be doing and if you are a manager or a director or a CISO you better understand how to manage the team and I think it's very important when it comes to a security team for people to understand their roles the responsibilities the position they play within the team and what they need to do to ultimately make the team win and the CISSP gives you a better understanding of that whole mission which is valuable at any level of the organization and my next point is doors opening after getting certified to be honest this is just a simple one yes they, they do rightly or wrongly people might not like it but CISP is super valuable from a recruitment perspective in terms of what's been asked for what recruiters hiring managers and yeah HR are looking for it's a very common cert it's been around for a long time so yeah definitely helps in terms of salary negotiations increasing pay getting into a better role all the above it's just a great certification for that but with the nuance that it's part of a package and the package is you as a person you know all the skills and experience and all the other certifications and things you're able to do that you bring to the table you know CISP enhances that as a standalone thing just because you have it don't expect people to just throw money at you so yeah it's like that with any certification to be honest think of yourself as that kind of package and CISP you know makes that package a little bit more valuable from a recruiter's perspective in today's industry another interesting point is like how relevant is the CISSP day to day now I passed the exam two years ago and to be honest some part of it is relevant all the time. Almost every day I'm kind of pulling on knowledge that I learned at that point because it does touch almost every area of cybersecurity and 
some areas I've kind of dove into deeper, done a lot more research and got a lot better at. So those areas are still relevant, but I would say the extra work down that vertical is probably more relevant than what the CISP taught me. But it is very good for like when people mention stuff like randomly that you just haven't heard of in a while. And most people kind of stare blankly while a CISP or someone who studied the PASA CISP and has that kind of knowledge will understand that to a surface level at the very least so it is kind of good for yeah when somebody mentions something and nobody's heard of it but because you've done the CISSP and have had to study and learn about that thing you've at least got a bit more information than everyone else it's not much but it puts you at least a couple of steps forward and saves you having to look stuff up and googling or asking a ai bot just for the basics of that like everyone else will be doing so yeah it's very good very relevant for that day-to-day stuff and it makes you come across a lot smarter than you probably are to be honest because you have such a broad knowledge of everything but unless you've dove deeper into that topic you know you'll only be able to go so far with the CISP knowledge so yeah it's definitely an interesting certification my next point is CISSP and imposter syndrome I would say it's given me the opposite effect making me feel like you know what I have the right to belong here I have passed the CISSP I have passed other difficult exams it's kind of gave me that confidence with my abilities as well like sometimes I would know to do something and it's a right thing but after doing the CISSP you kind of like well yeah this is best practice this is how it works so even though I'd like to think I was right a lot of times before with the kind of day-to-day decisions of my work and my job the CISSP definitely made me more confident in being right but yeah please don't think I'm trying to say I don't make mistakes because of course I do. We all do. Now, would I recommend it in 2025, 2026? 100%. Especially if you want to climb the ladder, you want to go into team management, consulting, leading teams, CSOs, whatever it may be. You want to climb that security ladder. It's definitely something that will make it easier along the way even if you don't benefit or learn much from it the value of just having it on your cv as part of that package is super cool now i'll stop for a little ad break but after that i'm going to be finishing off with how does the cissp compare with other certifications that are gaining popularity and where does the cssp fit in what if your entire digital life can be private without giving up user convenience proton is an all-in-one privacy suite built in switzerland and trusted by millions while big tech mines your data proton lets you take back control no ads no tracking just real security You get Proton Mail to send encrypted email, Proton Drive for secure cloud storage, Proton VPN for private browsing, Proton Pass to protect your passwords, and even Proton Calendar, all synced and encrypted. Start for free with one gigabyte of secure email, file sharing, VPN, and even a Bitcoin wallet or go unlimited for more storage. This plan is my personal favorite. Up to 15 email addresses and 10 high-speed VPN connections across all devices. And if you're ready to ditch surveillance software, then check out Proton in the links below. Get started for free or sign up for one of the paid plans for even more features. Reclaim your digital privacy today. Back to the video. How I think of the CISSP at kind of my stage and when I did it is very different to a lot of what the industry thinks about it. Generally, it's seen as this kind of gold standard senior level certification that you get after five years minimum experience. You know, I did it after one or two. You just don't become certified, but you just have passed the exam and are an associate of ISC squared, which for the most part, people still respect a ton because you've still passed the exam. You just haven't met the experience requirements. Anyway, yeah, people generally think it is that kind of senior level super cert that you get after a while. I kind of have the opposite view, to be completely honest with you. The earlier you take it, the better, in my opinion. I think it's one of those certs you should go after 
early on in your cyber security career before you specialize and niche down into something. I think it will add value into any security role, but it's more of a complement rather than a replacement for any hands-on or specific domain certifications. So if we think of something like offensive security hacking or ethical hacking, let's say of networks, the OSCP, the PNPT, the other Hack the Box certifications and Pentest Plus and all these other hacking certs are obviously going to make you a better pen tester than the CISSP. But the CISSP will complement that by making you a better overall security professional and increase your professionalism, especially maybe like your report writing and elements of that because you understand how each vulnerability might affect the business as a whole and be able to add more value from a business and security alignment point of view. So I think that's kind of where it fits in and that's how it should be viewed. It's kind of a when you are ready and you want to learn a little bit about everything in cybersecurity, go for the ECISSP. Personally, I think that should be done as early as possible because that's when it's most valuable. After 10 to 15 years, people typically just get it to check a box or get more interviews or better jobs. Not a lot of people get it at that stage for a learning thing if they've been learning for you know 10 to 15 years because you've kind of done your rounds and you'll pick up a lot of the skills that would have been taught in the CISSP. So yeah, definitely go for it as early as possible in your career and don't worry about the five-year requirement. You can literally pass the exam and then gain the experience while you're waiting to be certified. Probably not one to do before you get into cybersecurity because yeah, getting into cybersecurity can take anywhere from a few months to a few years being realistic. It's not as easy as some people make it out to be. Some people get lucky, some people don't takes a while. So yeah, I hope that's been valuable to you if you've been thinking about taking the CISSP. It's definitely a certification that's worth taking, teaches you a lot. And if it doesn't teach you a lot, will definitely help you get better jobs. So either or, I think it's a win. Yeah, again, my personal advice, try and take it as early as you can in your career. Don't wait. The earlier you have that broader understanding, the better it will be for your career overall. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.